Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. Wanted to show you guys this hodgepodge of LeBrons right here. This is going to be my LeBron 10 or LeBron 9 and, and 10 um, collection kind of right here. Um, and I just have one shoe of each and I wanted to just show you guys kind of from uh, left to right the uh, the sneakers that I have out here. Um, so I guess we'll, and there's a, an overview of all them. I don't know. I just put them on here um, just randomly like this. I thought it would look kind of cool. Uh, we'll start off over here. Obviously you have your elites. Uh, these are South Beach, the home and away, home and away colorways of the nines, and then you have the Elite Nine right here, and the taxis. You got Elite Tens right here. We have the custom um, kind of Big Bang, Oregon State inspired colorway of the Tens here. Black History Month, All Star. And then you have your Mango 9s, which I really, really love that colorway. It's one of those ones that I think that years from now people are going to be like, those are those ones are, are fresh. Uh, we we got the, the Big Bangs here. I want to call these the infrared just because of the coloring. Again, if, if with the lighting, it's they're not really orange. Um, Sprite and then Crown Royals right here. And that's pretty much it. Just, uh, it, just a really quick look at, at the LeBron uh, 9 and and 10 collection so far that I got. Um, there's a couple of colorways in the nines that I'm definitely aching to get. There's probably some more colorways of tens that I'm trying to get, but so far this is kind of an eclectic look at uh, at these. This is crazy though for me. Like this is a lot of elites. Um, if, you about, <laughs> if you think about how much money a lot of these cost, it's kind of stupid. But I, I really like the elites. I think that like these are like super duper clean. Um, and I, I'll switch the gold laces out with black laces. I really want to get. I still don't have the replacement laces but I wanted to get more Kevlar like this because I really like the black laces on the white um, of course we gotta love the, the Miami Vice South Beach and co inspired colorway and these ones are, are fresh too man I love the taxis and stuff and I just I really like the elites I wish they would have been in released more colorways you, you saw a bunch of leaked versions of uh, elite colorways that they didn't release in the nines I really wish they'd actually released this on um, Nike ID I think they, they could have done something with that but I, I'm guaranteeing they lost their butt on like money wise with the amount of money that they cost it cost them to reinvent the nines for the elites um, and after four colorways it looks like they just kind of threw in the towel and all the other ones they never really made it um, that being said the tens seem to be just crazy the there's so many colorways of the tens but they're just such a dope shoe uh, even at the price point that they're that they are what they have a tiering price point um, they still sell like crazy there, there's some that don't sell out. There's more limited colorways that do, obviously, like the what the what the LeBrons and um, just various other ones. And then the fact that they have them on Nike ID to me it just means uh, that those shoes can take it above and beyond. I mean, they, they hit every market possible. LeBron tends to uh, your your custom um, side, your limited side, and then your general release side. So, in my opinion, the LeBron Ten is the reason why they sold so many of them is because. They're really, really successful, and they hit multiple markets. Um, the 10 elites are more for the guy. I mean, it is what it is. The elite, I mean, people that want to spend the extra money on, on the sneakers um, will do that. Now, I do wish they would have put the lace lock on this one. They didn't um, like they did on this one. The gold lace lock pops like crazy. It's pretty awesome. But uh, but anyway, that's, that's just my thoughts on the LeBrons. I think it's a successful shoe. Um, really excited to see more of the 11s. I, I'm a huge fan of what I've seen so far. Uh, the whole Iron Man look, they just look just crazy futuristic. And back in 97, I was, I've been a huge fan of the foam posits since they came out. That crazy metallic blue, like spaceship looking, um, material. It just looked so crazy and so, so futuristic. The LeBron 11s look like they're pushing that envelope the same way. So definitely looking forward to the LeBron 11s as we, wait uh, for more pictures and the, and the releases to come and we'll see if they if they do what they did with the lebron 10s um this these sneakers are something to be uh reckoned with i mean they're definitely uh, holding their weight in the sneaker community um and i don't know it's crazy seeing the shift from like i, I mean i'm all jordan mostly but but so much creativity and so much cool stuff that they have come with the lebrons i'm definitely uh, have nothing but respect for for the sneakers and and uh for, Le for the Le lebron himself um but anyway that's about all I got. I just want to show you guys this quick, uh, quick, not quick little vid here of just the random 
colorways that I have so far. If you guys have any video responses of your LeBron collections or whatever, this isn't my whole collection. This is just my 9s and 10s, but feel free to, to add them as a video response, and I'll approve them. And I uh, always, always like to do that for you guys and check out your guys' videos as well. So have a good one. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.